But isn't that the duty of art? To elevate us above the beast? I'd have thought that was your duty, Abbe. Not mine. Offended. You cringe when you hear that word too, right? And why do you do it? Because it's one of many overused words that have lost its meaning today. In ancient times it meant to be angry, to find something genuinely upsetting, while in this modern society it's just become a synonym for whiny. But still, creativity has the potential to create shock and disgust, and that potential is to be treasured. Offensive art has always been present in the world of men. For example, Michelangelo's The Last Judgment from 1541, it was criticized for being in just an orgy of obscene nudeness. Marcel Duchamp's Fountain from 1917 was criticized for not being art at all, but just an indecent object. Some pieces of art that were traumatizing and unacceptable 500 years ago, or 100 years ago, or even 10 years ago, are today mostly interesting curiosities. And the reason for that is that art is changing, people are changing, society is changing. Art in general is an evolutionary process, a small cogwheel in the shaping of a civilized society that actually encourages free thinking. So if a piece of art happens to cause shock and disgust, well, that's actually indication that the world is moving in a pretty decent direction after all. How about you, my wicked brother or sister? Are you afraid that your words or your art will make people angry with you? That they will judge you? It's normal to feel that way. You wouldn't want to alienate yourself from your fellow primates, and I understand that. I've been there myself. But when it comes down to it, the one thing that is important is your integrity. Offensive art, in any shape or form, illustrations, music, movies, is essential. It's the lifeblood of the liberty to express your human emotions in whatever way you see fit. It's the freedom to cross boundaries, to elevate your creations beyond expectations or approval. So if someone happens to be offended by your words, or your art, or your creativity in general, embrace it with pride. You have just made an emotional impression. You have awakened something in another person. And that, my wicked brothers and sisters, is precious indeed. So, that was the end of my latest sermon. And now that the time lapse for this painting comes to an end, I can also announce that this just so happens to be shameless advertisement for my new website, deafiseternalart.com. During the making of this video, the website is still a work in progress, but all the necessary functions, primarily my webshop, are complete, but I will continuously expand it and make it even better in due time. Feel free to check it out. And finally, I just want to say, being offensive is your integrity at work. <laughs>